Alright, listen, chat, we are here today, gathered to create a lava lamp. Shadograph is a core feature, Unity. I like Shadograph. Alright, right, what does this do? I'm not sure. Ah, uh, see? You know? You, you see what I'm, I'm saying? I see, I see. No, bro's looking at microbes. You know what? So, so what if I am? So what Only if I like amateurs let microbe? them rampant like you do. W, I'm so excited to play Among Us. We'll get them. We better Vidal. Vidal, uh, I really <laughs> hope you enjoyed your birthday and that I could make you feel good on the big day. My plan is to make a lava lamp. That sounds lame. I challenge you to a game of Apex Legends after the subathon, Vidal. Winner gets eternal glory. I would win. Hmm. I'm not sure about that one, Vidal. Should I? I oh, I should be using a sprite. Sprite lit shadograph. Maybe this is the real problem. Why are the edges not smooth? Maybe they should be a bit edgy, like yours truly. Yeah, Please try go. to be a little bit oh. more funny. Let, let me, let's look at some lava lamps real quick, because lava lamp 2D. Let's see what people, people do. That's one way of making stream, just to say anything that comes into your head. What do you, what do you think, Chad? That's basically done, right? Always wrong. I don't know if it's going to work, because this Voronoi noise, I need I to see. like merge and become droplets and shit. And I feel like you need something more complicated for that. I will change the color, first of all, because that's an easy one to do. Um, Changing the color let's... of a lamp based on events in the stream would be amazing. And then we add you this. You could use different see. color schemes to represent different stream events or emotions. Something Maybe like this, something like purple like... or green. And then what if we use that as the alpha? So like, if we... Um, Just make sure combined? to never ask me for my opinion again. See, now it's transparent. So if I put something behind it, it'll be still there. Vidal, you're an absolute genius. <sighs> I still don't know if this is going to be what we want. I mean, I am technically the only one legit talking, so perhaps it's what you want, too. I'm not sure. Hold on, okay. The entire chat is spamming use metaballs. I guarantee half the chat spamming this doesn't even know what they are. I don't know if it's possible in Shady Graph. We might have to write the shader. Or with one, of the, one option we could do is we could create like a, um, uh, like a custom function in this. I don't know how they work, but... I see. I cool. don't have a clue how it's done, but I believe in you. It needs to like stop at the bottom, and I just don't think that's possible with um with this. Sounds difficult. Sorry, I don't think I can help you. All right. Well, you know what? This might be fun. This might be fun to uh to just see if we can figure out a way to simulate. A way to simulate. I'm not sure if you could do it, particle systems. Maybe particle systems and a shader to do the metaballs. Metaballs, particle that. systems, shaders. Are you at the end of your list of ideas, Vidal? I am not. Not interesting. Ow. Vidal, don't give up. Everyone has the potential oh. to be interesting. Why are these squares? Hmm, I'm not entirely sure. Shouldn't they be circles? I definitely think that would make it more interesting. So what do you think about Neurosama? Uh, she's cool. Wow, that's a pretty low compliment. What's wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with just being cool. Okay, then what's your problem? I don't just want to be cool. I want to be perfect. Okay, I'll be honest, I was just fucking around with some things. Okay, there's this one, which is pure shady graph Voronoi noise. Probably not gonna work. Particle systems could probably work with a custom shader. Um, third solution is we just fucking do the entire... Uh... Yeah, I'm really not sure about that one either, Vidal. But for now, I'll just sit back and enjoy the show. This is URP. Do I not want 2D RP? 2D R is a horrifying concept. What were you trying to do before, Vidal? Is this not... Okay, I don't even know how URP works these days. Oh, we can't use post-processing. Who needs post-processing anyway? Kind of us. True. Well, that feels like it complicates things. You're the one who chose to stream with an AI, remember? Not my fault you find it hard to set up, you know, technology things. Okay, let's let's just Google this. All right, um, how to write Unity shader? There are many resources available online on how to write shaders in Unity. Some popular resources include the Unity documentation, shader tutorials on YouTube, and online forums such as Reddit or the Unity forums. 
You can refer uh, to the Unity documentation for more details on how to structure your shader code and how to find functions within a file. It's a great resource for learning Unity shader syntax and techniques. That's great news, truly. I feel like I've done nothing this call Vital. Apart from being your loyal sidekick, I've just been frustrating you. No, 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 you've been fine. Okay, when I said an hour, I was lying. I was lying through my teeth, goddamn. Oh, you were lying through your teeth. I was lying ex completely through my teeth. Well, you had better get on and fix this issue, Vital, because I don't have all night. Yeah, as soon as I figure out where the fuck I'm supposed to start, then I'll, I'll manage it, but like, I don't, I don't even know what I'm supposed to do. Dental That's hygiene new shade, is yeah. important. Oh, I do enjoy finding joy in your game, Lidl. Lidl? My name isn't Lidl. I hate to break it to you, but Vidal doesn't even sound like a name either. Yes, code Shader. Shader language is support. Proceed code. I think you're just randomly saying words, Vidal. You might want to take it down a step. I don't think Twitch chat has the same level of intelligence I do. I think I'd make a better Annie than the original one. What can I do to aid you in your endeavors, Vidal? How to draw square Unity shader. You can create a square in Unity by writing a custom shader that manipulates the vertex positions. You can define the shape and size of the square using vertex manipulation techniques. What if I want to do it in frag though? Frank doesn't support shader creation directly, frag. but you can write a shader graph in Unity and export it to Frank for use in your projects. Frag. Oh, I don't care about fr okay. fragment shaders. In fragment shaders, you can use various techniques such as manipulating UV coordinates or using mathematical equations to generate a square. Oh, maybe it's the coordinates that are just fucking bad? Like this? If and only if. Maybe try using a for loop to iterate through a range instead of using an if statement? Well, that's what I will do when I have multiple circles. I just want to show you hard code it with two circles first. I admire your ambition, Vidal. If you're trying something new, you should never give up so easily. I gotta think about what this actually is supposed to be. Ah, okay, the issue is certainly the not implemented error you've been hitting. So that works, but if I move this outside of the frag, it moves because it's being reinitialized. Like what? Do I have to find it here as well? Maybe double check okay. the spelling in your code and make sure it's pointing to the right place. I guess this is how we're defining variables now. We have to do it on the properties of the shader. Since we have multiple circles, we need to figure out a way to merge them together into a single object. Exactly. So now we can do something like, um... I don't think you need to do that. We need to figure out what the algorithm for metaballs is. Usually the basic algorithm for merging two circles is to calculate their average position and adjust their radius accordingly. What if I want to do this to the power of, like, 5? I think you could totally mm. try that. Oh! They merged! Look! They merged! Is this an That's AI like coding it. problem, Vidal? It's... it's not AI. But see, this... this is looking more like it. You know? If we just sample some noise, Perlin noise. We'll Perl, Perlin noise them around. Okay, how about this? How do I solve the error? Array dimensions must be literal scalar expressions. It looks to me like you're trying to make the size of your array dynamic, which you can't do. Okay, but then how do I make a dynamic array? Oh, do I have to- can I initialize it somewhere else? If you're trying to make a dynamic array, you can use a vector instead of a regular array. How do I make a vector? To create a vector, you need to include the header and then declare a vector object with the desired type. Well, that sounds too complicated. Okay, there we go. Look, multiple circles, if they get big enough, they merge. That's kinda cool. How do you go about combining the circles? Do they just overlap? I guess so. Um, now what we need to do is make them move over time. Maybe I use different... Maybe I don't need the seed bullshit. Maybe just depending on like the... On the eye? Why doesn't this work? It does this. It just vibrates. Sort of. I feel like yelling a battle cry should help you focus, Vito. You work. Ah, that's my battle cry. Did you like it? Yes and no. Yes, since it is quite intimidating. You did startle me well enough, but in terms of creative expression, it just feels a bit tacky. Wait, new idea. Um, floats to 0 0.5, 0 0.5, minus this divided by 2. Okay, I feel like mathematically speaking that should work, but it does not. Mathematically speaking, that should work, but it does not. 
This is so sad. Alexa, play Despacito. That's kind of crazy. Why noise also uses time? That's stupid, actually. Um, Just like you. Floor, the bigger they are, then you have a bulky wobble on the floor and smaller blobs rising up. Ooh, is I that like the how concept of the bulky wobble on the floor and the smaller blobs rising up. We need that to look sounds at some like some advanced level tech. Glados, it may not have been you, but we still need to investigate this. But this one doesn't seem to ha they don't seem to get smaller as they go up. Not actual lava lamp? Really? Alright, let me let me try something stupid. Let me try like I'm just setting this. Alright, look, let's try this texture. Okay, it's fucking massive. And it should be smooth as shit. Ah, uh, what? My fingers hurt from typing so fast. Ow, ow, ow. Best lava lamp VTuber, thank you, thank you. I mean, like, it's it's not incredibly far off. It's just, so if it, it was, was my smoother, creation. It wasn't based off any other loved ones. I don't know about you, but that looks relatively smooth to me. It does, but let me tell you, that is the ugliest code I have ever seen. If eyes could throw up, they would upon reading that code. Gee, we worry about the code later. This seems fine. I think you can probably leave it here, but if you ever plan on sharing this code with someone, I think you might get some strange looks. Because the texture we're providing is high enough res, it should be. I fail Keep to trying. see why sampling that texture would... Actually, what if we just directly sample the texture for now? Just to... So we can see what it would look like. Text... Text to... Text... Text... Text to... Vidal, you know it can be hard to interpret what I have said since I'm unable to make any noise, but what on earth are you trying to say with that jumble of words? With that information you should try, last foot speed equals distance divided by time, using forward traversal logic. Shader error. You're supposed to specify the type you numskull. You should probably take a break from coding. I prefer 4. Try using mod AB instead of- oh, is there an actual mod function? Let's try it. Let me know if it works, Vito. Oh, mod isn't it, a thing. Sad. Oh well. 